We're taking a live look outside at Five Star Forum. We're up to 65,000 excited, screaming fans will pack the Deer District for Game 6 of the NBA Finals tonight. And I've got a feeling tonight is going to be a good night for the Bucks and the people of Milwaukee. Thanks so much for getting up with us this morning on Tuesday, July 20th. I'm Megan Reistead. My co-anchors, Mike and Pauline, they are live in the Deer District this morning. You guys, it has been such a fun, you know, fun time leading up to this. And today is the day. Can you believe it? Today is the day. I cannot believe it. No, I mean, you asked that question. Literally, I can't believe what could and probably will happen tonight. Yes, we're speaking it into existence, <laughs> man. Yes, that's right. That's right. We're having positive thoughts this morning. And our meteorologist, Michael Schlesinger, you are like the king of positive thoughts. You've been saying that all week. You're like, we have to think positive. I have. Yeah, you said it yesterday. Oh, yeah, that's Don't right. I forgot. Remember? Yes, <laughs> absolutely. Only positive thinking here. The glass is always full. That's right, it's official. The Milwaukee Bucks are NBA champions. After 50 years, the Bucks won it all in game six of the NBA Finals against the Suns with a final score of 105 to 98. Thanks for joining us this morning. I'm Megan Reisted. We hope you're just as, as excited as we are about this historic morning. So we have live team coverage of the Bucks NBA Finals win from highlights to excited fans and so much more. And with us this morning is co-anchor Mike Kirk and Darius Joshua. They're bringing us highlights from last night. And then we have Pauline Lee and Kim Shine. They're also live with more from fans after the game six win. We also have Michael Schlesinger. He is giving us the inside scoop on championship merchandise. But first, we're going to send it over to Mike and Darius in the Deer District. You guys, how does it feel this morning? Everyone just seems to be beaming with excitement. The Bucks are taking their new championship title and trophy to the streets of Milwaukee this afternoon. Just one day after winning the NBA Finals, the team is ready to celebrate with fans in the city and in the Deer District. Now here's a look at the route. So it will step off at Museum Center Park at 11 this morning and then travel west on Wisconsin, north on water and west on Knapp, ending at the Milwaukee River. After the parade, there'll be a championship celebration in the Deer District. The stage will be near the intersection of 5th and McKinley. The party is expected to start at about 1230. Buck staff say the parade is so long, you should be able to find a spot on the route. And once the rally starts in the Deer District, there will be plenty of monitors for fans to enjoy the show. Bars near the route, like on 3rd Street, and directly along the route, like Water Street, plan to open this morning so fans can grab a drink. Many fans will view work as optional today, given the opportunity to attend this historical parade and rally. I wouldn't care if I worked for uh, Bill Gates. I wouldn't go to work tomorrow. I wouldn't care if I worked for Jeff Bezos. I wouldn't go to work tomorrow. City officials are warning fans not to stake out for a spot until 8 this morning after they finish securing the areas around the parade route. And any furniture left out before will likely be taken away. And if you can't make it downtown this afternoon, we've got you covered. You can watch the entire parade and championship celebration right here on CBS 58 starting at 11 a.m. And noticeable but also necessary change has been made at Pfizer Forum. The history in the making sign in front of the arena has been changed to read 2021 NBA champions history made. Crews made that change this morning after the big win as dozens of people watched while standing in line for Bucks Championship merchandise. And if you're walking around Milwaukee today, keep your eyes peeled for some new artwork. Former Bucks player Desmond Mason is finishing up a mural with his fellow artists, and it's all set to debut today. Mason's inspiration for the mural comes from his time with the Bucks and living in the city. He says the message behind the art is unity, which was on display throughout the Bucks playoff run. We are better together. There's no other way around it. Um, when you read it, you know exactly what it means. Mason says the mural will be finished by this afternoon just in time for that parade, and he also hopes the message of unity will last far into the future.